Hi guys, today we have another unboxing. Um, I just a few days ago filmed a Boots um, unboxing for Boots skincare and actually second Boots package arrived now. But um, it was more like, um, I don't want to say makeup products apart from the foundation maybe, but yeah, kind of skincare kind of makeup. So first one is this one, the number 7 Lavatoires and it's the Dark Circle Corrector. 15 mil. that packaging is quite something because it's actually really hard box and then you open it up like this. No quite um yeah quite something not really needed to be honest but yeah now what do you do with the box you check it so this was in the um apparently try action and apparently dark circles look visibly reduced in just one week clinically proven what well, we see about this by the way i got the um shade light medium sheer and um this one is usually 29 pounds but they had like an they have like a 10 pound is it 10 pound tuesday or 10 pound thursday um can't remember anymore when i ordered it but um it was only 10 pound so you can see you have like the little roller boards are they boards are they rolling or just like they're just there and then you twist it to open it up and then we squeeze oh there it comes already there we go and then you i guess massage it in the skin but saying that though with this roller applicator it will not make a very good application because you have to yeah you have the dots from the roller bolts then there so that makes no sense you probably have to just dub it in with your fingers or use a sponge very very sheer application indeed um very very sheer but to be honest i don't mind because i got it more for the um skincare ingredients than actually um for using it as a makeup item um and yeah apparently firmer calmed and less hyperpigmented so it says apply every morning and evening as the last step in your skincare regime evening i find a bit weirder because it has pigmentation so i find for evening um i would just use another eye cream because um, I don't want any pigments really on my pillows to be honest when I go to bed I want to keep them clean but next thing I got um, airbrush away foundation this was on offer as well it was only um, six pound um, this one is apparently for all skin types I got the shade cool cool ivory and is hypoallergenic it's a 30 mil size there we go it's a little glass bottle oh it's interesting it seems to be a bit separate you see like this blue you see like blue pigments in there interesting definitely will be cool toned then if they are if you literally can see the blue pigments you have to shake it which i'm doing right now what does it say air brush away your skin hypoallergenic always shake before use um it has a dropper da -da 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 -da. buildable coverage apparently velvety smooth to touch ultra comfortable to wear well we see about that but Let's do a swatch of it. There we go. Oopsie. Focus. There we go with the dropper. I have to just do one here. Definitely cool toned. Which is good for me, especially in winter time when I'm pale. Cool toned. Some cool toned foundations can look quite ashy on some people, so you need to be really careful if it's right for your skin tone. But for me, it usually works well. That's actually not bad um, coverage-wise. I still have a bit of tan from the summertime, so I won't be able to use it just yet, but soon. Um, but yeah, happy to have it and um, looking forward to use it. And I will feed back on that one. Last thing from number seven, I got the anti-aging shimmering lip and eye screen. Um, this again got bashed a bit in the post, but I don't mind if the box is bashed. Let's see if the inside is bashed. Hopefully not. So this one I quite like. Um, it really reminded me online when I saw it. This is a 3 gram size, by the way. It reminded me a bit of um, a Kiko Milano um, sheer, like, goldy, sparkly lip balm I had, which I really enjoyed using earlier this year. And this one has SPF 30, which is quite nice. So there we go. Packaging is um, plastic. Looks very yellow. It's a bit of shine. Oof. Oh my goodness. There we go. And there we have it. Let's actually get it out completely so just normal lipstick size a bit bigger maybe because it's three grams lipsticks are usually two 2.5 grams it's very goldy but it also has like a really slight pink reflex to it so let's do a swatch i hope you can see something i'm filming in daylight today no you can't really see anything it is shiny though there you can see 
just a shiny shiny but very very subtle which is really good though because this is what I want just like literally a throw on lip balm so it was just a bit of shine doesn't smell like anything by the way which is quite nice because sometimes SPF products they can smell quite badly which I don't like Last thing, Netta Porte got another Ritual de Fill Rare Light um, Luminizer. Um, it was only £9. I know that shouldn't be really reason to buy something, but um, I really like the other one I got. Let me actually get that one out so we can do a comparison swatch as well. Uh, opening my drawers. Okay, so the other one I got is Solaris, and the new one I got is Anthelion? Anthelion? Mm. I butchered that one probably, but let's open it up. There we go. It's like a cream highlighter. Let's swatch it. Feels very cool to the touch, by the way. It has like more a uh, goldy sheen. I will swatch it here. Very, very subtle, as you can see. Very subtle. Let's swatch the next one, the other one next to it. This is. Um, Solaris. Solaris has more look of a pinky sheen and it's a bit more brighter. Oh gosh, now the sun decides to come out. There we go. So there you can see. Antillion is more like goldy, shifty, and Solaris is definitely more pinky shifty and a bit lighter but I really really like these um they're very subtle not over the top and they just give such a nice sheen to the skin so for no makeup day it's just a bit of sheen on your cheeks a bit of a cream blusher I'm really into that at the moment so super happy and the compact are really quite nice actually as well they are made of plastic but they actually feel quite nice and sturdy so yeah very happy with that so that's it for me going well and um, apart from the foundation um, I will start using everything right away which is quite nice. Thanks so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye!